Hello, welcome to Proformance Motorsport. Today we're going to show you our quick change transfer case and explain how it works and some of the benefits about using a reverse drive in an off-road racing vehicle. One of the benefits of running a Proformance quick change transfer case is that there's a 200mm separation between the input shaft and the output shaft. That separation allows you to run the tail shaft underneath the gearbox, underneath the sump of the engine, allowing you to run the differentials in the centre of the vehicle. Running a dry sump on the motor allows for a very small oil pan, therefore the motor can be lowered just above the tail shaft, allowing for a very good centre of gravity and a very stable off-road racing vehicle. One of the big problems in running mid-engine or rear-engine off-road racing vehicles is that having the gearbox between the driver and navigator results in the tail shaft operating in the wrong direction. A lot of competitors will actually flip the diffs upside down to reverse that problem. Unfortunately, it's not ideal. In a previous technical article written by Proformance, we explained that running a differential upside down results in the diff gears running on what's called the coast side of the, di the differential. Running a diff on the coast side means the differential is in a much weaker configuration and much more prone to failure than running it in the correct drive side configuration. Our quick change gearbox actually reverses the direction of drive coming out of the gearbox to the tail shaft, preventing the need to run your differentials upside down. Many off-road racers today running 37 inch, 39 inch, 40 inch, perhaps even larger tyres. Running large tyres in an off-road racing vehicle requires a final drive ratio on your differential to be very high to allow your engine to run at the optimum RPM when running at high speed. There's no point having a vehicle geared to do 350 kilometres an hour if your tacker is sitting at 2000 RPM in top gear when your, motor, when your vehicle's doing 100 miles an hour. To get around that, competitors generally put a very high ratio differential into their off-road racing vehicles, be it two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Ratios like 5.88, 6, 6.5 to 1 are pretty common in off-road racing. Unfortunately, high ratio differentials like 5.88, 6 to 1, etc., have a very small pinion diameter and a very small number of teeth on the pinion. Therefore, high ratio differentials are very weak and prone to failure. In addition to the high ratio diff gears providing a very weak diff, they actually provide another problem. They allow the tail shafts to run at incredibly high tail shaft rotational speeds. Tail shaft speeds in excess of 6, 6.5, 7,000 or even higher RPMs are pushing the tail shaft tubes, the slip yokes, the uni joints, all the tail shaft components way beyond the manufacturer's recommend recommendations. A transfer case runs a 20 to 30% underdrive between the input and the output shaft. This underdrive allows the tail shaft to run at a much lower, more acceptable RPM, allowing you to run a much stronger, larger pinion gear. Somewhere around 4.1, 4.56 is a very, very strong diff combination and will provide you a much more reliable drivetrain. Underdriving your tail shaft and using correct pinion ratios is an absolute must in off-road racing. In a four-wheel drive vehicle, changing the final drive ratio requires both the front and the rear diff to be re-ratioed with the new ring and pinion combination. Changing the diff gear sets is a pretty time consuming job, typically eight or more hours to strip the differential, clean it, put the new ring and pinion in, set up the backlash, set up the gear mesh and set up the bearing preloads. It's not something you want to do on a regular basis and if you're off-road racing and having to change the ratios for different tracks to get different top speeds, it's not ideal. Our quick change gearbox, you can actually change the gears very quickly by removing the front cover, sliding the gears out and changing the final drive ratio in a matter of minutes. We typically recommend customers have a few different sets of gears to allow different top speeds depending on the track you're driving on. Our race truck behind me here actually has three different gear ratios. We have a top speed of 140, 180 and 220 kilometres an hour. And we change the ratios of the transfer case depending on the terrain we're driving on and the track that we're competing in. There's no point having a vehicle that can do 200 kilometres an hour if the highest speed on the track you can achieve is 160 for that particular day. The idea is to put in the ratio where you can achieve maximum RPM in top gear at any part of the track. We've all seen transfer cases snapped in half, exploded into pieces, oil on the ground. Off-road racing and rock crawling cause a lot of stress on drivetrain, 
especially transfer cases. Most transfer cases are made of very thin die cast or cast aluminium. Even a lot of the racing aftermarket transfer cases you see on the market today are actually again made of cast aluminium. Our transfer case is machined out of one solid block of billet aluminium. There is a minimum 20mm wall thickness all the way around, providing one of the most robust transfer cases you'll find on the market today. It's not uncommon to see the output shafts of a transfer case sheared clean off like this one here. Our performance quick change transfer case does not have any output shafts to break. The CV joint, or universal joint, bolts directly to the output hub of the drive gear. Our transfer case is fitted with flex joints mounted either side of the transfer case. The flex joints are very far apart which prevents the transfer case from rocking left to right and prevents the gearbox and drivetrain rotating under load. The flex joints are not bolted or welded to the transfer case. They have been machined into the billet casing from day one. Stopping a drivetrain moving and twisting under load results in a much more reliable drivetrain and reduces a lot of stress on the motor and gearbox casings. The quick change gears in our transfer case, they're a bit bigger than what most people will be used to. Looking at your traditional Speedway sprint car quick change rear end gear, they're a reasonable size. These things handle 800, 900 plus horsepower. It's a little gear, they do a lot of work. If you look at the difference in the size of our gears, you can imagine the sort of horsepower you could push through a much larger diameter gear. We of course recommend running all the oil of the transfer case through an oil cooler. You know it needs to be very small but something to remove some of the heat. Of course our transfer case is fitted with oil pickups, scavenge lines and vent lines ready for a high performance oil cooler. Taking a look at the bearings in our transfer case you'll notice they're a little bit larger than what you might find in most transfer cases. The reason they're so large is because we mentioned we're not using any output shafts or spline shafts in our gearbox. Our gears are actually supported by a large diameter spool which sits in these 110 millimeter bearings. We see a lot of highly stressed off-road components manufactured around the world where bearings are mounted directly inside the aluminium carrier or the case or the bearing retainer. At Proformance we do not recommend mounting bearings onto an aluminium surface. Highly stressed off-road racing and rock crawling cause the bearings to fret, move back and forth and sometimes if a bearing fails it just spins in the housing and your case is completely destroyed. At Proformance We've chosen to put all of our bearings into 4140 chrome moly steel bearing retainers. These bearing retainers bolt in place into the aluminium housing, preventing them from walking, fretting or coming loose. Should you ever experience a bearing failure in one of our components, the worst it can do is damage the bearing retainer. Having to replace the bearing container is a lot less expensive than having to replace the whole housing of a differential or a transfer case. All of the components we design and manufacture at Proformance have been designed with one thing in mind, racing. When you're racing, you need to be able to service our components in a very short amount of time in between stages or should something go wrong. Our components have been designed to be serviced in the field without special presses, without special tools, without any gaskets and sealers, without any glues. The idea is these, these components can be hand assembled, hand stripped and then put back together. Working on a gearbox or a transfer case in the middle of nowhere when you're competing in, in a race generally results in oil everywhere, a bit of a mess. It's pretty hard to get gaskets and, and silicons to seal without having it completely stripped and perfectly clean like you would in a workshop. All of our components have been designed with o-ring seals on the faces and o-ring seals in all of the bores, thus preventing the need for gaskets, sealers and silicons in the field. Pull it apart, do what you need to do, clean the o-rings, put them back together, in a matter of minutes you're back on the track again. In summary our transfer case is race proven. We've been racing off-road vehicles for 25 years. During that time we've manufactured pretty much nearly every part on our car in-house in our own workshop. It was pressure from international competitors asking us to reproduce the products we make for ourselves for other teams around the world. We are a bit of a black sheep team, we do things a little bit differently. If you want to be a bit different, and if you want to have some of the best products in the world, give us a call, jump on our Facebook page, or visit us on www.proformance.com.au. We'd be happy to have a talk to you about helping you with your project.